we got us a team one together with Derek. So on that team, we also got ourselves Asher. We got ourselves Advo with first up. It's going to be Christina leaping away from Pusa and unstoppable on this team as well. Christina already getting chased by the Demon Hunter. I suppose it went in for a full metamorphosis already. It looks like he's going to back up. Looks like he couldn't find the cat. Shadow Mel for Pusa while Emulation Aura is up. If Christina walks next to the Emulation Aura. That could be bad. I thought he AOE'd him for a second. <laughs> it's going to be Meteor Trinket into an imprison. Christina get a hit with an I Beam interrupting Pusa. Big carrying setup available for Casino though. Does Pusa have a defensive hazard? Really, he doesn't have a blur or nothing. Sun to Casino. Big that wants to go for big damage. He wants to go for such big damage. Darkness available for Pusa. Can he make the big damage going to Christina? Trying to go for first aid while invulnerability is up. Oh my goodness, this is so weird. Pusa trying to make himself a big play versus Christina. Is he gonna be able to? Is gonna be able to keep Christina in combat with a glaive toss at least. Pusa needs himself a perfect lineup. Christina with a stun. Big bites. Does Pusa have a chance here? Into a root right after. Christina BM and hit with a root rass. BM and the boy with a rass. Oh my goodness. Yo, Pusa can get a nice... Oh, there it goes. Christina was not going to let the Demon Hunter play at all, dude. I was expecting a big go from Demon Hunter. Because they do have like a big um, burst go right now in the game. Like a big one shot. But... Christina knew everything about it, dude. I think I'm interested that Christina's playing Kyrian as a Pharaoh right now. How's that feeling for you, fam? Big Kyrian go. I guess we'll get to see it firsthand versus Mary. As thorns are up for Christina, big damage are available. He's going to tank this up a little bit with his shield of vengeance. As Mary watching Christina bail out of there, ch ch chasing after the cat. Nice Ursos Vortex for Christina. Great for control of enemy characters. Great for control. And Mary does survive the go from Christina. But I guess that wasn't like the biggest go. I guess the biggest go would be with the Feral Frenzy and Berserk, like the full five comb point setup opener. That probably would be the big go, right? So we're gonna have to wait until Christina has that. But you no longer have Convoke, which is like the all in button, but you have more burst opportunities, in my opinion. Big wings available for Mary. Is he gonna activate Seraphim? It looks like he's maybe potentially trying to set something up. Final verdict is up. No Seraphim this time by the looks of it. Maybe he decided to change his go. Bubble as Christina pops a wall and just goes counter aggressive off of Mary. Mary does get himself a little bit of reheal there. Mary so far hasn't really been able to do much to break into Christina's tough exterior. Has basic protection as well as shield of vengeance if he needs defenses. Barks can available for Christina. Just so I think he's waiting off until maybe Mary is in a better position. Or maybe Christina's just looking for some cooldowns. Does get Hodge in cat form out of the bear. Big game is available for Mary. That's going to be a big heal for Christina with a friends of region emergency healing available. And does have Berserk. He's not going to be able to do much against the bop here. Unless he can somehow cycle under or root it. So Christina is kind of going to have to wait this out. Did he use the Kyrian setup there too? He did get himself the big setup with Berserk and everything. He might actually have the Berserk by the time the bop is off. So that's going to be back-to-back -back bites with Christina. It still could be really deadly. Thorns available for the Feral. Mary does not want to walk at him. Has Shield of Vengeance as well as Wings. So he really could make Shield of Vengeance do a far more damage with Wings. And I think he just might. Wings available. Christina could have the backsplash damage from Thorns. I think he might have disabled Thorns the last second. He's going to leap away. Big Swiftman heal with the Ursals trying to keep the Paladin slowed. That's one thing every class can do, is at least somehow, some way, try to slow the Paladin to just peel him off you as best as you can. So it's going to be a little bit of a longer game. Christina is going to have to go for a little bit more of an endurance-based match here. Versus Mary as they're having a lot of the back and forth. And Mary is playing the defensive legendary. Big bite of Christina. Force it out. A bubble out of Mary pretty early with wings too. She's going to be able to get a lot of healing. But as for damage, I'm not really sure. Especially now that Christina has wall available and everything. Stick it back into the cat form. Thorns available. Just trying to see if maybe we can just end the deal right here. Mary does have real wings coming up in just a moment. Could use them anytime he wants to. But a lot of the damage Mary is doing to Christina though. Is just going to have those thorns attached to it. It's going to be really, really bad to just keep hammering at the Feral at that point. Wings available for Mary. Christina going for the bash. It's going to be a bite right after. But looking for that reset. Is that going to be rude? Does get a rude into Mary. Hand of Freedom activated pretty quickly. And Mary might need to go for a lot of self heals here, man. As soon as the Feral is out of the window, out of line of sight, in self. Go for that self heals, man. You have to catch back up. No more bubble. Shield of it is available in 15 seconds. Christina is looking pretty good right now aggressively. As for defensives, there's more that we could say there. But Mary is just going to have to find a way to deal with this. Shield of Vengeance might be enough. Maybe the self heals might be enough. 
Big go for the break, Christina. Shrink it immediately for Mary. Shield of Venus first global. Thorns is up, but that's going to be Christina's emergency heals activated. As a blessing, uh, as a Shield of Venus proxy back to him. Big damage under Christina. Potentially could maybe stay in. Decides to actually back up. Big damage onto Mary. Has Word of Glories back to back to keep some afloat. Bark skin used by Christina no longer has any aggressive, aggressive pre uh, offensive pressure here. It looks like Mary might be able to whittle Christina down. I think the Pharaoh is out of options. Hodge, no way out of it unless you have an emergency heal of any sort. I think it's over. Maybe a good proc from Mary. That's it. Christina does have a swoop man trying to go for as many heals as possible. The Kieran Sippy Cup does come into play here. That's going to be able to get a rune to Mary. Try to go for the cycle. Does land it. At least prevent Mary from being able to get himself a full reheal for the time being. And will allow Christina a direct guarantee for a reset. Does not get to do a uh, open property there with a the rake. Went for a skull bash at the very beginning there. Super unfortunate. Mary being very, very careful with the thorns as best as he can. Big damage onto by Christina. And Mary again, super careful with those thorns. Seeing the carry and burst, very, very careful of it. Big bite by Christina. Can you go for another bite right after? Does he have it? I don't think he does. I don't think he does. He's still trying to make it happen. He's trying to crack through the tough plate exterior of Mary the Paladin. But the word of glory just keep coming. And he still has a defensive in the back pocket. So he hasn't even went into that big danger zone just yet. Wings are able for Mary. Christina looking for a bit of a bash. Building the comp points, and I think in this hammer of justice, it's over. The Feral had a good run, but Mary taking him out. Man, that was a long deal between the two. Feral versus a uh, Paladin, man. Two hybrid classes with a ton of healing. Feral's a tough man. Feral's a really, really healy. But so is Mary, dude. There's a lot of heals just left and right. Advo up next. Playing that Affliction, actually. That's an interesting one. I don't think we've seen Affliction Warlock like much in these duels. But it's going to be Adva going in with big cooldowns immediately. Full Haze buff with Dark Soul as well as a Dark Glare up. And Mary is behind the pillar, not taking the biggest damage quickly. But he is taking a lot of dot damage over time. Able to heal through majority of it. And also he has the Dark Glare to build the Holy Power from. And Adva just making sure to retain all the, all those dots on Mary as best as possible. He's taking a bit of damage here, man. He's melting little by little. He just not taking the damage in a big bulk. Big fear by Adva. Trying to get some damage on to Mary with a Mortal Coil. And that's going to be a Hodge exchange by the two. And Advo just needs to go for a bit of the mobility. Trying to maintain the dots. Malefic Raptures are coming in. And oh my goodness, the damage those ruptures are doing are actually quite significant. Look at that. Like those four ruptures. He was actually getting some pressure with the ticking dot damage on top of it. Like that's a nice punchy burst. If you can get a bunch of those back to back with full cooldowns, that'd be huge. He's going to be able to get a UA onto Mary. At least he's just waiting out for a bit. Those dots are going to be good, especially as we're getting into the dampening. For Mary, eventually, is going to have a hard time dealing with it. Especially when he's staying out in the open. And Adver just keeps kiting him around. Just keeps kiting him around completely with the curse of exhaustion, too. Furon to Mary is standing in the rune that lets him free cast without uh, worries of getting interrupted. And Adver trying to go for a bit of a drain life, which also has a bit of a burst mechanic for Mary. Another fear. He can just keep fearing him, make sure the dots are on him the whole time. And of freedom finally available for the paladin. Actually, he doesn't even need Curse of Exhaustion, does he? Every time he puts a corruption, it's a slow. So eventually, Mary is, is gonna have to is gonna fit behind on the healing. And you can see Mary's health is just having a hard time recovering. At 40% dampening, Mary's health is definitely having a hard time recovering while the dots are in full swing. So he's able to get himself some healing here and there, but not much. And Adver is gonna send out a Shivara. I wonder why that's the better choice. Maybe he's hoping to go for a pet sacrifice eventual in Shivara or just trying to go for CC so he doesn't have to worry about fears. That's going to be yet another fear. Goes against it, actually. Goes around it. Waiting now for the rebuke to come out for the paladin. Once he can do the rebuke, he'll be in a good spot. He's going to get the UAs back up. As Mary has a full defensive setup, man. Every defensive available. Raptors coming through, doing quite a bit of damage. Summon Castle Circle is getting used by Adva. Going to be a sacrifice C right here. Mary does get hit. Wait, does the uh, Succubus AC, does that remove UA? Does that actually cause UA to proc the damage? That's actually kind of nuts if it does. I would take it quite a lot of damage from Mary. Trick it, pop it by the Paladin. It's going to go for the Dark Glare play with all the dots. Drain life available. Animal just doesn't really have a lot to deal with in terms of defensives. And that's going to be Mary with that defensive Guardian of Ancient Kings. Proccing as he drops super low. Man, that was a long duel between the Warlock and the Paladin, man. Those guys just 
I mean, Mary just hanging around the pillow the whole time, just healing. A last is how he died. Oh my goodness. After that long of a game, lasso is how it ends. Bot, you're going to be up next, trying to see if you can make a bit of a play here. Opening up on the fire elemental, actually, to maybe get some comp points, getting a full kit of shot onto softball. It's going to give himself the vent here setup. Trying to make the most damage happen by the looks of it. And softball does have a wall for this. Trying to keep a flame shock and a frost shock on Debachi, but the rogue is gonna get a, get away regardless. You can't stop a rogue when they're trying to get away, man. Especially with the dots, and you get the shield every time you pop in the cell. Even if you have dots in you, it's a hundred percent guarantee, man. Actually, hundred percent guarantee. Gonna be the earth elemental slapping him down for a second. That's gonna be unstoppable. Trying to make as much damage happen outside of that stun. Cheap shot by Bachi. Unstoppable does have an earth elemental wall to deal with the damage. And he's trying to see if he can get himself a healing surge. Is that going to be interrupted? Interrupted into a Fleshcraft and the softball should be A-OK. -okay. Massive shield at 71% damper. That's a pretty decent shield. With a 20% DR while the shield is crafting. That's really good. Trinkets out of that blind immediately. Bachi does get himself a reset. Get a shot on softball. He's going to try to get himself a Stormkeeper. Could he be an interrupt by the rogue? Does have a cloak of shadows. And softball needs to get himself a heal. It looks like Bachi just dumpstered him. With as much damage. Just dumping down shadow strikes over and over into botch him with a cloak of shadows just waiting to interrupt a heal that was super unfortunate at the end there as the software just came in no health available at the very very end of that run just trying to either go for damage or for healing asher picking up the eyes and Bachi is there to meet him with a sap as soon as that happens and asher trying not to let Bachi get away at all it looks like Bachi is gonna go for a bit of a reset himself completely actually gonna go for a reset could asher catch him Asher catch him. <laughs> uh, so too close for Ash catch him. Could Asher catch him? Oh my oh, that's a lot. First of all, that scared me. <laughs> DC, first of all, that scared me. Second, that's a lot. <laughs> this is to buy Imani Petty for Chicago. He likes it. <laughs> this is to buy a Manny Petty for Chicago he likes it. <laughs> oh my god. DC, my man. Yo, can we just get a spam of DC in chat? Can we just from time to time every few minutes just do hashtag DC? Because you know this man is gonna be. I feel like if the, if that's how the stream has been going, dude, that's just what you're gonna have to do all day, boys. Yo, hashtag DC, dude. That's 40 on top of 200 already that you've donated. My man, that's a lot of moolah. That's a lot of moolah. Seriously, my guy, thank you so much, my dude. <laughs> For real. <laughs> For real, my dude. Oh, Asher trying to catch Bachi is going to have a door of shadows to get out of there after that kid shot. Does he get himself a clean reset? With that smoke bomb says yes. That sap says yes, yes, yes. Wow. That was actually where I played there. Kind of shot into. I mean, I guess if you kind of shot him, he has a trinket. Like, that's a perfect getaway, right? Perfect getaway. Although this duel is going on for 19 minutes. Getting a shot onto Asher. That's going to be Bachi trying to go for the most amount of damage here. Damn, that's a lot of damn. Bachi just taking him out, dude. Not even giving him a chance. Dirks is up next. Getting hit with a cheap shot immediately. And Dirks is just going to wait out the cheap shot. Blind coming out. Is he going to trink it? Bachi has a trinket too. Dirks could trink it if he wanted to. But looks like Bachi is just going to let Dirks get a complete reset. He's not going to hang out with him with a sap. Probably should have, maybe. Dirk's picking up the eyes, trying to see if he can catch Bachi. Did have a double shadow step available. I like double shadow step isn't bad. But I like that uh where you get out of roots and slows with Theodore as a sub rogue. I, I really like that one. And the verse you get too. Or flagellation. That could also be really good. Get a shot onto Dirk's is Bachi. Going in for a big damage, and I think Dirks might be out of it. Trying to go for a shadow step. Kidna shot. Actual reversal damage back to Bachi. Does he get it cleanly? He is playing an orc, so he didn't get to see the stuns nearly as much. It does take it out, makes a return from almost the grave. Shaken is going to be up next. He's got himself the Void Elf Rachel set up, trying to get the dots on the Dirks. Does not get him out of stealth. And Dirks is going to be able to go for a bit of a reset here. Hey, Shaken. How you doing, by the way? I feel like we haven't seen Shaken in a while. What's Shaken, fam? What's Shaken? Sap by Dirks. Shake and get hit with a cheap shot. Immediate disperse at 99% dampening. You're not getting any healing out of it. You might as well go for the DR. Is it going to try to get some dots on the Dirks? But if Dirks gets himself a clean reset, 
those dots are not going to get him out of stealth at all try to go for a stun here with a cloak of shadows for dirks he's advantage if he needs to shadow fiend his own dirks though keeping him in combat actually not letting him catch a reset at all shake it try to go for a bit of a heal try to go door of shadows around the corner vanish available for dirks no dots to get him out even if he had dots that stealth shield would have just kept him in stealth anyway I think it's so nuts, dude. I think it's actually insanely good for rogues in PvP. Shaken, did he pick up the eyes? It looks like he did. Sab by Dirk. Shaken could shrink it. Greater Fate is available. Has of Empiric Embrace, which is not going to do anything at 100% dampening. PI. Silence available. Not going to do much against Dirks, really. Could be MM with it, I guess. And the other eye is not available just yet. It's going to be opened up by Dirk. Shaken has a trinket into a stun. Oh! Dirk just went for a trinket to take out the shadow priest immediately. Didn't see a greater fade out of the guy. Trinket shadow step eviscerate as soon as he could. And then Izzy Faza opening up with an AoE. Kidding shot onto Dirk's and super DR. Does he even need anything though? I think he still has it. Cheap shot by Dirk. Does he go for a proper reset here? Wait a second. If he actually goes for a proper reset, that'd be nuts. Evasion was used by Izzy Faza, but. Oh. 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 Oh, they actually got a reset. Neither of them has a trinket. Neither of them has any defense except for a cloak of shadow by Izzy Faza. And Izzy has a shadow blades. Those shadow blades won't matter, I don't think. If Dirk's uh if Dirk's still able to get big damage in there, but I don't know. And there goes Dirk's picking up the eye. No vantage for him or nothing. Does have Shadow Blades, uh, not Shadow Blades active, Cold Blood active. Kid Shadow to Easy Faza does get a trick for it. And Dirks does get a trick in the last second. Cheap Shot by Easy. Does he have the damage though? Cheap Shot after. It looks like Easy taking him out. He just had that nice setup, got the Ventier set up with Flagellation earlier. But Dirks had himself a tough one though. Man, oh my god. Mary, my man. Mary tells dude, you got so much healing, it's not even funny. It's actually unfair, dude. <laughs> actually unfair. <laughs> Oh my goodness, dude.